What's up lads, Joshua, and welcome back to another episode of Squad Builder, and this one is going to be a League 1 Squad Builder. This will be the final League Squad Builder for a little bit because, you know, I think I've pretty much done all the squads that I wanted to do. I bought like seven teams at the start and just, you know, I've, I've, I've uploaded the leagues that I thought was, you know, worthy of an upload. I left like the uh, the Russian League, the Portuguese League and some other leagues as well, but um, I just wanted to get the main ones out and show you guys what teams I'd been building, but this is the last uh, squad builder for like League squad builder and then I'll be doing some hybrids, then I'll be doing some like pack openings and stuff and then I'm going to get back into trading next week, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, but anyways, if you guys are looking to buy or sell any FIFA 14 on my team, uh, check the link in the description for the FIFA shop fantastic level website for you to buy or sell some coins. £15.30 per um, 100k with my 10% discount code. Link to that is in the description. So let's get straight into the team. It's going to be a 3-5-2 League 1 squad. And uh, the first one going to the team is going to be Surigu. And his stats on this game are absolutely awesome. And in game with the goalkeeper glove trait, he is absolutely unstoppable. One of the best goalkeepers I have used for his value, uh, you know, no no doubt. Um, 3,600 coins he cost me, 86 diving, 79 handling, 0 free kicking, 87 reflex. 50 speed and 85 positioning some absolutely insane stats for him going on to center backs the first one is going to be in form and i did get this guy in a pack he's called abdanu and he was actually very very good um i was kind of a bit sketchy about using like under 70 pace defenders while still trying to learn about this game um, but honestly pace is not a big of an issue for defenders now I wouldn't be scared to use like 50 pace defenders anymore, um, but 50, uh, he's got 69 pace, 85 defending, and 79 heading, some very nice defensive stats, and if this guy had 70 pace, he would just be, the, you know, the all-round best defender probably, um, for out at the moment, other than like Thiago Silva or something like that, but as you can see, bought for first owner, got him from a pack, and I think he's got for about 15k now. Uh, going into the next centre back is going to be Marquinhos, and uh, that's probably going to spoil the next centre back, but anyway, 78 pace, 78 defending, and 72 heading on him, 1400 coins he cost me, I think he just got an info but um, I just wanted to use his non-inform. Scored two goals for me, I think, from corners. Six foot tall. He is an absolute giant. And uh, he is a very, very good centre-back, helping out constantly. Uh, next centre-back is going to be Nkulu. And this guy is just so good on this game. 77 pace, 82 defending, and 76 heading. Only cost me 1,700 coins. Um, but I think he's going for, like, I don't know, 900 coins now. He's a very, very cheap player. Um, and look at those sort of stats. Very, very good. Very similar to Ogbana this year. 5 foot 11 tall, 3 story foot 2 stats. Gomez, absolutely awesome. Uh, played 9 games with this team. Going on to CDMs, the first one is going to be Tulalon from Monaco. Uh, <coughs> 53 pace, uh, 79 passing, 70 dribbling, 80 defending, and uh, 74 heading. 750 coins he cost me, I think in CM, but then CM to CDM I bought for like, I don't know, 200 coins or something. Very, very cheap uh, when the game first came out. But CMs to CDMs are going for like ridiculously uh, expensive now, like 3k. I don't even know where that's come from. Um, but he is very cheap and he is absolutely awesome for a, you know, I didn't expect him to be that good because of his 53 pace, but he actually was pretty good. Going on to the next CDM is going to be another Monaco player, and it is going to be, uh, I was going to say Philippe then. Uh, oh, it is Philippe. <laughs> uh, Moutinho, ja what's his name? Jao Philippe Moutinho. I, I don't know why I was going to say Philippe Moutinho, but for some reason that is his middle name. Um, but Jao Moutinho, 78 pace, 76 shot, 83 passing, 82 dribbling, 74 defending, and 69 heading. Cost me 2,500 coins in centre mid, then of course just uh, transferred him over to CDM for like 300 extra coins. Scored a goal for me, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skillmers, 5 foot 7 tall, and at CDM he actually does play pretty well. I was kind of scared to play him at CDM because I think he's got, what's his work rate? High, high, there you go. So I wasn't sure if he was even going to be at the CDM role, but he, he played pretty well in this role to be honest. Going on to the right mid is going to be Rodriguez, who recently just got an inform who cost like 250. 50k or something ridiculous very very expensive but he did only score me one goal but in right mids you know i don't really expect much from right mids anymore or left mids i i i do expect a lot from wingers but left mids and right mids are basically just there for you know passing and moving and to cross into the boxes for headers and stuff like that but scored a goal for me nine games played four star skimmers three star weak foot five foot eleven tall um cost me 2100 coins in right wing and then of course i transferred him over to right mid for like an extra thousand coins uh going on to left mid who i got from a pack is going to be alessandrini and uh, of course he was a silver last year and he is absolutely awesome as a gold this year four star weak foot four star skill was five foot eight tall got him from a pack but he goes for like i don't know 800 to a thousand coins now very very cheap and with those sort of stats 91 pace 74 passing uh, shooting sorry 75 passing 70 dribbling some absolutely amazing stats right there going on to the cam who i think also just got an inform is going to be val buena 84 pace 33 shot 82 passing 83 dribbling and uh, they have some absolutely awesome stats 2200 coins scored a goal for me and uh, he has Five foot six tall, four star skill moves, and three star weak foot. And but as you can see, he did get five assists, so he wasn't completely useless. I just I'm struggling to score goals because I was still like learning with this team. 
this was like the first 20 games that I ever played. I was using this team, so the goals are quite old. But um, going on to strikers, the first one is going to be Cavani. Really wanted to try this guy out. I originally had uh, who's on the bench. I had um, this guy, Lacazette or Lacazette. He looked absolutely awesome for how much I paid for him. 450 coins. Look at those stats. Absolutely awesome. And he's got four star skill moves. But then I saw if Cavani was 20,000 coins. I was like, I have to try this guy. 83 pace, 84 shot, 66 passing, 80 dribbling, and 84 heading. Scored me four goals in nine games not very good record at all got three assists as well though but um i i was getting genuinely i genuinely was getting so unlucky but his work rates are a bit of a bitch you know he's constantly out of position because of his high defensive work rate and uh, but he cost twenty five thousand coins and i think he's personally worth it even if he didn't score that many goals but the next striker that's next to him is one of my favorite players on my team um he was just absolutely superb scored eight goals in nine games two thousand four hundred coins for jeremy menez of course he used to be five star skimmers in like fifa 12 but then he's just dropped and dropped and dropped was like a right mid last year now he's a striker but he is a very very good striker at that he scores a lot of headers for you know for his height and uh for his only 66 heading four star skillers four star weak foot eight goals scored nine games played five for 11 tall 86 pace 34 shot 78 passing and 87 dribbling also 66 heading on him and uh that has been the team guys hopefully you enjoy it sorry if i didn't upload the rvp hybrid today um i just thought you know england games out a bit later i, I would rather have a little bit more attention on the hybrid tomorrow um when people are free and uh, honestly I didn't even have enough games to play to you know show like enough footage so I definitely will be giving you the RVP hybrid tomorrow then probably um, I'm gonna try and bring an old series back I'm not gonna say which series it will be I'll try and keep it as a surprise but it, it, it will uh, it should be pretty good if I can get it out on Sunday but apart from that guys thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like or and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here follow me on Twitter at JustCamera94 apart from that guys I'll see you guys soon peace Yeah.